Well, well, well. It is not exactly the news I was hoping to hear, but it is interesting news nonetheless. Let's dive into the most recent announcement from Giant Software about Farm Production Pack coming to Farming Simulator 22 on April 30th, and what does it mean to us players? The Farming Production Pack by Dutch Modding Incorporated and Giant Software will bring 20 new productions, buildings, machines, and cell points. These can be used in all stages of your gameplay from early stages, where you're looking to build with some income from some passive structures, all the way up to the end game where you can manage an area distribution center where goods are collected and sent out to sale locally and beyond. Solar panel arrays that include a cleaning robot, small wind generators, sheds that can be customized to store machines, bales, pallets, or bulk material. New sell points to offer dynamic prices like we are used to but also add in daily demands. These sell points range in size from small vending machines and market stalls to full on supermarket and farm supply stores. Speaking of farm supply stores, a new production like the ability to make liquid fertilizer when mixing ammonia as an off gas of your cow and pig barns with sulfuric acid that you buy from the farm supply store. This is known as the Lily Sphere system and I've got a cool video explaining it down in the description below. A new VDW Cleaner Tiger cleans and cuts your sugar beets, separating them from dirt and stones, a wash plant to clean all kinds of other crops so you can sell those clean veggies at a higher profit. And then how many of you will invest in a 4,000 square meter distribution center where you can load and unload trucks on their way to and from various sell points? Become a titan of industry. Now enough with the looping of the trailer and still shots, let's slow down the trailer and let's see how many things we can identify from the announcement. We start out taking a look at our new warehouse, as well as our new placeable solar panels that do get dirty. Several clips showing us various buildings and building configurations that we can now place down. Now right after we have a shot of our distribution warehouse, we have the Farm Depot. And the Farm Depot is important because let's still this. The Farm Depot is important because we can take acid and purchase it at the depot, deliver it to this area, and we can place this next to our animal pins. Here we have it next to the cows. And the way this system is going to work is, in theory, it's going to take the ammonia off gas that's going to come from the urea that is captured in the building and mix it with a sulfuric water mix. And that's sulfuric acid and then that is going to then make liquid fertilizer. So we can take our cows and just produce liquid fertilizer as a byproduct by taking acid and placing it into this new structure that we can put on our barns. I'm only speculating that it's also gonna work with pigs and anything else that's gonna be basically put off urea. Some placeable vending areas for selling your products and then as we move up we can then place down some other sell points that we see listed here or shown here we've got a top shot showing a warehouse that's got a sky window now if we look close we might see some new machinery here that's a light there i thought first off that was a crane but that's just a light here we've got some potatoes unloading into a conveyor belt into a building. There we have the wash plant that was talked about washing some potatoes. So we know we can clean potatoes and sell cleaned potatoes at a profit. Some more shots of that. Now we have the activation icon. So there's also triggers that are shown up for this distribution center. I'm wondering if we can configure that. Here we have another shed set with some bulk dump. Now we're coming up, we've got a, here we got a shot of the cleaning robot cleaning those solar panels that will get dirty over time. This is going to be our sugar beet cutter that is going to clean and cut our sugar beets. Another couple examples of the new buildings that we're going to get with the pack. And some cell points, and then that is going to wrap it up. The farm production pack is coming April 30th to both PC and console. And it's priced at $7.99. Now, I'll have an affiliate link down in the description below. If you want to go ahead and pre-order that, I would enjoy very much if you are on PC to go ahead and use that affiliate.
affiliate link, I do get a little bit of kickback. And we recently became a silver partner thanks to you all using those affiliate links. And until next time, happy farming.